For me personally, I implemented everything that I'm going to share you to get my summer internship for 2022. I'll go into details on what that is and what position I'll be filling maybe in another video, but for now, I'm just gonna go over the details and skills that maybe you'd be good to have if you're looking for a summer internship in the year of 2022. What's going on everybody? It is Chris Colbank. Thank you guys for checking out another amazing video. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe and smash that thumbs up button. It really helps YouTube push out my videos. And as a college student, I need all the help I can get. So I really appreciate it. So the topic of this video is how to get a summer internship as a college athlete. This applies to any college student. I would say one of the biggest things that I always see athletes talk about is time constraints. You don't have enough time to go and hustle, talk to teachers. You're worried about your sport so you don't have the time to network and that's the biggest excuse I could ever think of. I think sometimes we just have to be honest with ourselves in how we use our time because I think anyone has the time to do this, you just have to make it happen. So uh, that being said, the main thing that you need to do to get a summer internship as a college student or college athlete is to use the resources around you that your school gives you. And a couple things I'd also like to mention because by no means am I perfect and I fail at these all the time. You want to be aggressive and you want to allocate your time properly and you want to be intentional. Some resources that your school might have that you can probably check out is career services. I know Mississippi College has a career services field where you can go and, and talk to people, professionals. They can help with your interviews. They can help with any questions you might have regarding your strengths or weaknesses or opportunities out there. What you might want to do after school if you have no idea because I still have no idea what I want to do after school. And another resource, obviously, that your school has are your teachers. Sometimes I have to ask them questions or be intentional with my time and just let them know that this is where I'm at in terms of what I want to do in the future. And sometimes it's just asking them, look, I have no idea what I want to do. What, what would you suggest? Maybe you don't want to work for anybody. So if you don't want to work for anybody and you kind of want to do your own freelance stuff, it is really important to develop skills and self-taught skills on your free time outside of school. Because for my major, it doesn't really teach you any skills. It might teach you how to develop skills or how to do that, but you don't actually learn how to do it. Does that make sense? So spending time developing self-taught skills is really important if you want to get a summer internship in 2022. If you want to get an internship that you really care about, that won't be a waste of your time, that you think will open up the doors to many opportunities, I never say pursue your passion, I say pursue opportunity. That's kind of the philosophy I live by. So just think about that a little bit more. Not what am I into or what am I, what do I like doing, what are my passions, but what do I think has opportunity down the road? And the number one resource that I can think of that is the most practical, especially if you have a lot of time constraints and you're an athlete, is to use LinkedIn. It is an amazing platform for networking. If you don't know what you want to do, you can look and see what areas are opening and what areas are hiring. It's so good because you can narrow down your research. So LinkedIn is a very valuable resource. If you guys want me to like do another video on how to navigate LinkedIn and how I personally got my internship, let me know and I'll definitely do that. But LinkedIn is a great platform for, for networking and, and, and trying to see what internships are open in your area. So as I was editing the video, I realized just from talking to my parents that I totally forgot such an important aspect of doing anything, which is prayer. So um, prayer always helps me, just give me clarity. That's one of the things that I always pray for. So definitely pray about decisions like this um, and, and just really rely on God that you're gonna make a decision and that everything's gonna be okay. Uh, sometimes, you know, you don't know if a decision is going to be good or bad at the time, but that's okay. Um, that's what free will is all about. We live and learn from our mistakes. So, um, you know, I think that's going to end it off for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope my tips helped you guys, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.